had to do that extensive research, man. What's good, guys? This is Ian Walker, the Chillin' Sketch Podcast. I'm here with my boy, Brandon. What's Smith, up? Hey, Dwight Illustrations. Yeah, it's that kind of night tonight, guys. I am so, I am so stinking excited. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I'd be like, man, ugh. Get to go on, get to go online, drive with my boy. For a long time. And that's all we've been doing, too. That's all we've been doing. <laughs> 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 like six months <laughs> for real for real dude i'm a seasonal artist i come around i don't know holidays oh, man. summertime and then after that i'll see you next year yeah but i'm yeah. trying to get better at it i'm trying to stay consistent i do i sketch but i don't do a lot of thinner stuff really. right i'm not getting on to me about that she has stuff she needs and I always promise stuff, and then sorry, I just don't have it ready. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I got this signed at my last anime show. Nice. Yeah, that's the last fun, exciting thing that's happened to me in art since six months. Man, man, forget that, bro. Let's get this in, damn sir. Now let's dust off the tablet. Let's dust off this. Dust it all off, bro. I'm gonna show you real quick, man. Yeah, what's going on tonight? So I literally talking? just got done with my comic book today. The first issue's finished, sir. This is the cover. Uh, yeah, I got the Pantheon. Here we go, full screen. Yeah, that's what I've been working on. The um. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a little quick, quick see. Oh, this is the color version. This is not, the, you know what? Let me get that here. Because it's not in color. Yet. It's not in color yet. It will be, but it's not yet. And that's um, all on the iPad. This is all on the iPad, bro. Mm. It's done. So I'm keeping all my mistakes in because um, I want to physically see the growth in the in the book so my perfectionism isn't gonna you know there it is your first comic Please there it is to dog. there it start is to bro. yeah we're so, digital right this is digital this is digital so i'm learning um so this is on procreate Oh, but man. I'm learning Clip Studio Paint right now because, um, hey, Natanya, um, it's going to be available online uh, the end of no end of February, and I'm actually working on printing it right now, so the print copy will be available in March. Um, I'm going to be selling it in uh, in local shops. I actually went to a place this week uh, today, bro. My wife, we have this local like farmer's market thing that, that pops up every week, every Saturday. Oh, and it's yeah. year round, I found out. I wasn't going to stop. I was like, babe, I don't feel like getting out of the car. She's like, babe, just get out the car. Let's walk mm -hmm. around, see what's there, see what kind of thing to see if it's a thing that you want to do. Yeah. Bless her heart, bro. We went there. And she said, and I found out, I ended up talking to the president, the person who was in charge of the whole thing, uh, the president and the vice president. They charge nothing for you to set up. So booth fees are free. She's like, just send in the app, put in the application and then come by when you're ready. I'm like, see, yeah. Yeah. So you could do it like almost like you could just say, here, here's my leadership. Pretty much. I mean, pretty much. I yeah. Don't yeah. So, so I'm gonna have every so these next two weeks because I'm not gonna do it next Saturday. I'm gonna start the following. So two weeks, I give myself to come up with the with all this stuff. My wife got all hype. She's all okay. You're getting your sticker machine done. You're gonna get this. You're gonna get this. You're gonna get your sticker machine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm buying. I'm gonna buy a cricket. So that'll allow me to cut the stickers out and everything. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, man. 
yeah so i'm i'm excited bro i am excited the dream the dream, the dream. yeah i saw on instagram you had like season episode not episode but maybe issue two ready well that was the cover yeah that's the cover for oh, issue two i'm yeah yeah so i'm gonna be doing the um i'm gonna be doing the uh i'm actually right now i got the script up right now as we speak and uh i'm writing the script for that for now and i may continue through and write the script all the way to the sixth issue and then go back in and just start running through it because it's gonna be um it's gonna be in uh like I said, like a manga style, black and white. And then I'm also going to do a big version, like that standard comic book size, but it'll be in a graphic novel form, this first arc. So it's going to be legit. I'm in New York, so do you ship? Yes, I do. And yes, I will. That's cool, man. How exciting is that? Dude, very much so, bro. I'm, I'm stoked, so. man. I'm stoked, dude. Um... What I might do, I was thinking about doing a Patreon, but I don't think I can justify having enough people to do a, pa- not a Patreon, a Kickstarter. Yeah. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going, huh? You can do like more of a print on demand service. That's exactly what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm, doing. I'm going to have some physical copies, you know, that I'm going to order, you know, when I'm doing the shows and stuff like that. But uh, I'll definitely for that, I'm gonna just print out as they want it. But I think right now I'm gonna go ahead and put on, you know, make a a, a, a pre-order, do a pre-order. <laughs> so yeah. actually, Tanya, since you're on right now, um, you want to go ahead and send me a message either here on the chat or actually preferably on Instagram if you're there or on Facebook if you're joining me on Facebook. Um, go ahead and shoot me a message with your email and I'll put you on the pre-order list so that you can go ahead and pay for it and, um, and you know, we'll get that moving. Get you on that list. And I'm going to open up that pre-order list probably Monday. See how many, get some folks interested, interested in. Weird. So, got some yeah. interest yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 everything's going everything's going so what's up with you dog enough about me Casanova what about you no I think I'm coming down with something I think I got it cold we were at Disney last night oh yeah it was, yeah, when, when, just, when are you not is the question bro. huh I so when are you not is the question bro. Yeah. <laughs> we went down there and it got rain, we got rained on so I'm walking around slushy oh. socks slushy Shoes. Oh, I need a yeah. jacket or anything, you know. So, <clears throat> so now I think it's catching up to me. But I'm gonna hang it. I'm gonna hang it. Hey man, appreciate you. Might, yeah, I can tell you are a little bit. You are a little bit down under the weather, a little bit. Just a tad. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I think yeah. it's just a one day thing because I'm not used to being that cold. It's been a long time since I was that yeah. cold. Was cold. <laughs> yeah. man. Florida isn't usually that cold, you know. Yeah. But so. And I was wet, and uh, it was it wasn't worth it. Yeah, uh, I feel you, man. No, I I'm not in any kind of pain, so I'm here, man. My voice is still, mm-hmm. still got a voice. So if I do a lot of cough and peeps, I still, I'm sorry. I don't know who's on against me like that. So I don't know who's watching. See, but, so. so we got some folks. So those of you guys who are in the chat right now here with us on Chill and Sketch. Just put a thumbs up or what's what's cracking or whatever in the chat, just so that we know you're here. We can give you some recognition yeah. and appreciation. So this thing has been sitting in my. This thing has been sitting in here for man, over a year. Yeah. Yeah, I just never started. It. I mean, I started it, but I never did anything after that. So. Uh-huh. You know, so I figured there to be something I'm just going to bring out. And as we talk, just kind of mess around with it a little bit. This isn't yeah, a sure. cut, this is a cut the brush yet. I got it from what's his name, Brian Allen. Okay, his name is Brian Allen. 
Yeah, I got it. And he's got a lot of good stuff on there. Me personally, uh -huh. I only have two of these brushes. Right. And I've been using them for years. Yeah, I got. Oh, you can see that okay? Oh, you can see that. Uh, yes, I sure can, bro. I sure can, Doc. Yeah. Kind of like a blocky one. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I can see that really well. I'm going to try to do something real quick, full screen. gonna try to do a split screen yeah i can see so what i'm looking at is i can't see your screen though i can't i can see yeah you, that's what i'm trying to see. and yeah you're gone so it's just me all right all right folks i'll keep it going until he comes back i don't know <laughs> i don't even know if anyone can. for all i know i'm the one that left It's all good. Oh, here he comes. He's coming back. Oh, man. I thought I was going to have to hold it down. <laughs> I was trying to see if there's a way to dual, dual screen, but I, I guess there's no way to do that. Oh, then put you on, man. You can split your phone. What I'll do, what I'll do, because like I said, I'm writing the script. Yeah. But what I'll do is every once in a while, I'll switch over. Yeah. You know, I think maybe if I got my own account maybe there was a way we can collab where i can have a screen you can have a screen or something like that i don't know yeah we'll figure something out dude. i don't know right now you know we work with what we got it's all good, it's all good. ms hulk mrs hulk for life is a new comic book store open in mount vernon new york it makes sense maybe it looks out of here would be great i've never been to new york yet that'd be kind of, that would be kind of new to do me neither. And we really want to go. Huh? Really and I want to go. We want to visit. I've never been there either, but we want to take a trip there when things get a little warmer. Yeah. Right now it's a little it's a little crazy there now. And I don't mean no disrespect for anyone that's there. No, it but, yeah. You know what I mean? Not, I mean you have a friend that lives out there. He's like, just wait. Just wait. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's all don't come out right now. Don't do that. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I got on that. That's funny. Yeah, I, I, I trust you. Yeah. So explain your process, what you're doing right here, dude. Looks like you're blocking in shapes. You got your base yeah. sketch. Then now you're going back in and you're blocking in your shapes. Yeah. I got just my basic idea. So rather than doing, sometimes depending on the mood I'm in, I'll do layer for literally everything like this arm will have a layer right this arm will have a layer this chest piece will have a layer and right. so on and so forth. sometimes text draw right and i put everything i just do like a painting rather than a digital art piece so i just go in here right and just block and get the different values as of right now and then later what i'll do is if i just want to give myself a head start on something, you can go. This, this is Clip Studio, so it's a little different than Photoshop. But you can go in here and just kind of add your color in that way. You see, mm -hmm. up? there. Yeah, I see that. Right. You can do something like that. I'm not gonna do it now, but this is just kind of an idea. And then once you have all the block, you'll preserve the different values. So this will give you your head start. So you want to have, you know, like Optimus. This is going to be like my exaggerated version of Optimus. So he's going to be red, yeah. black. But I might have very little blue in here. So for now, I'm just going to have get some values for right now. And then just mm -hmm. really, once I really start to like it, then I'll get the details in there. Gotcha. But I want to like it. I want to create the composition. You, you know what's up. Yeah, yeah. So it's all so so you set up your values in the same way like for for me for instance i don't go i don't go into my details until my sketches it feels right you do the same thing with your values yeah i'm not much of a sketch i'm not like you man i can't sketch like you can sketch mm -hmm. i've never really been good at that yeah you you do have more of a yeah i noticed you do have more of a painterly style 
that that's evolved because at first you were drawing for a while but then as time went on you 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 know you did become more painterly in your style which is which is dope yeah yeah you know it, it sets it apart you never see mechs that are painted really so that's what i think kind of set you apart for from from most mech artists who do yeah. you know type of work you know? and i've been people have mentioned that when i go to shows they go wow it looks like you've got kind of an airbrush style and that's actually been my my whole life i spent years airbrushing actual mm -hmm. cars so there's like a comfort level there you know so when i mm -hmm. translate it over to digital art like what you and i are doing here yeah. we're gonna just naturally inculcate what feels good to us you know and that's been i've been doing that for almost two decades right so to me airbrushing is my bread and butter i know you've been mm -hmm. catching it off the you, so there's your yeah that's your, that's your that's your thing that's my thing so yeah i'm gonna go through this and then eventually i'm just gonna erase the the lines underneath it once mm -hmm. they've served their purpose oh uh, yeah i see it already you got your deep shadows you're, you're yeah. Kidding. What's good, Derek? What's happening, Plank? What? Welcome in. Welcome to Chillin' Sketch. This is my homie Brandon Smith from Dwight Illustrations. He's doing his uh, his Optimus Prime. Yeah. And we're nice. chatting it up. We're gonna be flipping back and forth. Those of you guys who are coming in. Uh, I'll flip the screen every 30 minutes um, between Dwight and I, and we will, you know, you know, pretty much be drawn and just drawn, drawn and chatting it up uh, the whole time. If you guys, if you guys have any questions for myself or Brandon, please feel free to shoot them in the text. You know, we like to look. I'm, I'm going to be looking at the chat. And uh, we'll shoot those to him. And uh, what's good, FedEx guy? <laughs> uh, I'll be shooting those in uh, those questions out. So if you guys have any questions, please let us know. Um, if you like what you see tonight, go ahead to coffee.com. That's I do Walker Art. Leave a tip if you want. It's not mandatory. Um, but if you would like to have some of this art for yourself, you can also go over to my Patreon over at patreon.com slash ID Walker Art. You can join the club there. You'll get a sticker and you'll get a print sent to you uh, either through digital that you can print out yourself or you can have a physical print sent to you in the middle as well. Okay. And some a few stickers for the month just as like a thank you and all that. So appreciate yeah. that. But now we're just watching the prime getting built. Now you turned those you turned those lines on here because they were red at first. Now, do you drop the saturation yeah. down on them? No, I just I just locked the opacity and just painted them black. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I got the red is. Yeah, see, I'm learning too, bro. I mean, this this is this is different because I I <laughs> when I do paint when I do paintings like you'll see me paint when I do my uh, Afrocentric artwork. So whenever I do that stuff, I, I you know, do that. But I don't, I don't, I don't paint as much to justify me, you know, doing that. So that that's kind of cool. Yeah, no, that's cool, man. So I just like this one here on the digitals. Oh yeah, man. I think I've seen that. I like that. Yeah, so I, I started off with a sketch with this one, but like like you're doing, going in with the values, but still it's kind yeah. of sticking true to my, uh, <laughs> you know, comic book mm -hmm. style. It's like that that fusion. No, I like that. I like that. I like experimenting. Some of these new brushes that some of these programs are coming out with make it so easy to do that. You know? Yeah, for sure. That's that's another thing, man. I'd be like, dude, how did these guys come up with making brushes? I done sat up and tried to make brush brushes multiple times, uh -huh. and uh, your boy's not getting it. I'm like, how do we be sitting up doing these? <laughs> doing these yeah, brushes like that, and then selling the packs and all that stuff. If only I knew no. how to do that, man. 
Oh yeah, well it depends on the program you're using. With Clip Studio, man, it's, I've never created my own brush. It's always yeah. very, very To me, it is because there's so yeah. many options. It's not like Photoshop where you have like four options and you're done. This thing, right. like this is a app. Photoshop doesn't have quite the same breadth as Clip Studio. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you, you could. I I have a very specific type of feel I want with my brush. See, there you go. What I is, have a very specific time. What, is, what was that? What'd you just what, show? Oh, this this is my that's this. So this here's on my um my Huyan. That's I bought a Huyan, bro. Yeah, I saw that. Huyan. That's Clip. Yeah, I'm learning Clip Studio so that I can, because the rest of the comic I'm going to be doing you know, on Clip Studio. Yeah, um, I know it's a Man. manga. I know it's an industry standard, and so I figured that I should. You know, yeah. learn the program and go from there. Right. But this is the main character. This is a part of the cover. This is the main character of a cell in his uh, spacefaring gear. So when yeah. he lands on Earth, that's what he's going to look like when they see him for the first time. But They're all original characters, you design them yourself. Yeah, it's legit. What he has on right there, that's legit just a space suit. <laughs> But it looks sick, you know. So it's like he's alien looking, but you know, that's cool, man. Like it could be something, so but it's you, like, you know, from? huh? Where do you get your inspiration from for all your characters? Like, if you go to design one of these characters, you look into westerns, you look into sci fi, you look into I look space, at these, I look, look into everything, dude. Yeah. Um, I, I take inspiration in a lot of sci fi. Um, honestly, a lot of fashion. <laughs> so looking at, so I'll I'll see something on TV, and uh, like you know the Met Gala stuff or the the crazy um the the crazy like fashion fashion week. Like I'll see stuff on there, and then I'll go back online and look it up, and I'll just put it in a folder somewhere. Um, but another one of my things that I do all the time that helps me and I talked about it here on here before is I use Pinterest a lot Pinterest for me because you know how it is dude when you're looking for references for something and you go in that 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 deep dive bro <laughs> you'll spend the whole three four hours just looking up stuff for reference instead <laughs> of actually drawing you know what it's I'm like saying trying to, like trying to find something to watch on Netflix and spend more time looking oh heck yeah watch. <laughs> exactly. Like exactly. That, yeah. <laughs> so, so I, I go to Pinterest because I'll type something in and it'll give me a plethora of stuff right there. It's a whole big reference page, you know. Um. So, whatever I'm, I'm, I'm into. Um, I'll do that. So, I mean, and you clearly see the influences. You know, you got a little bit of Assassin's Creed in there. You got a little bit of Power Rangers in there. You got a little bit of uh um you know you know like sci-fi gear from like dead space or 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 um or a mass effect you know type of field you know so combining those different elements and of course some comic book elements so combining those things along with the manga style that i'm trying to develop you know helps me to do that like yesterday last night i streamed and uh, I designed these, I designed, that's what I was designing last night, was trying to figure out what the spacesuit would look like. Yeah, on your computer. Yeah, on the Huion. And I was messing with Clip Studio too, just kind of teaching myself how to use it and kind of finagle and run around. I'm sitting here double tapping my my stylus, you know, because I'm thinking I'm still on Procreate. You know, all that stuff, but... <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, oh no, this isn't the iPad, this is the New York. Bro. <laughs> I'm sure so. Yeah. Same here. I use Pinterest a lot. Yeah, Derek, man. Uh, Pinterest is, 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 is great. Uh, you know, what's cool about the Pinterest, too, I, I like to play the kind of the roulette game because it's like you type in what you're looking for 
And what I do is I limit myself. Whatever pops up on the screen is what I get to use. Um, if I don't find something that I like, I'll scroll down a little bit until something catches my eye. And I go and I just go from there and just take elements from certain things. So last night when I was designing these characters, these these suits, I ended up, that's what I was doing. Um, it's funny, the, I came up with a lot of these different things, but I, um, the first one I wasn't going to use, believe it or not. <laughs> I wasn't going to use it. I was like, ah, that's, that might be you, something cool, whatever. And, uh, <laughs> but I, I kept, huh? Later, right? you ever do that? Oh yeah, of course, dude. I never, I never scrap anything. I never scrap anything because, yeah, I mean, like we're saying, this could be used for as a villain, villains later on, or heroes later on, or yeah, it could be something totally. I could use it for something else for sure. So, so I don't even know. You're gonna have to tell. I don't know if you want to say it now live or not, but kind of get a, an idea of what your story's about. So yeah, now that now that it's now that it's that's it's Dylan. So the story is about Vassell. Um the main character's name is Vassell, um, who is an alien called a Demosian. They are a planet of conquerors, like it's it's weird, it's a weird statement, but the best way I can describe it, they're they're conquerors, but they do it in a pacifist type way. So, you know, most conquerors will just straight up come in, take all your resources, you know, just just take everything you have, you know. They work differently. They allow time to work on their side to conquer, um, which in their eyes allows them to solidify their dominance because they 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 pretty much work down their 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 targets so so much that they are that there's no way they can fight back pretty much so earth was uh, slotted for conquest thousands of years ago um and the demotians actually came to earth at that point and in order to kind of um, not i guess scare them scare humanity in a weird way what they did was they disguise themselves in certain ways. One of those ways are like some of the gods that we see today. So like the gods of Anubis, um, pharaohs, the Greek gods, the Greek monsters, stuff like that. They projected themselves in those images to humanity. Um, what ended up happening is that they just out of nowhere left. They left the planet. No reason, no explanation, no nothing. But when this happened, it freaked the it freaked humanity out. So, based on their memories and what they've seen, there that's what is responsible for all the gods and the religions that we see now. That's the name Pantheon, and is um, and so they did this kind of appease them to try to get them to come back. Um. We know what religion does to people that, you know, divides, it does all that, it's turn political. You know how things are right now. So that is all a part of the Mosey's plan. They weigh down humanity so bad <laughs> that when it comes time for them to conquer, they just full swoop, take them over. They take everything. Because, you know, so with their technology, these aliens can do it, can eventually do that. This story is a story where the main character kind of has a crisis of conscience and it happened during this invasion of Earth. So this is his story. Um, he's made a vow to change the perception of Demosians and to protect Earth. And there's some things in the story that have happened or that will happen um, where he's again con you know, questioning his people and his methods more and his uh, and there's some things that, that was done that was not okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much. It's not like it's pretty deep. It's it's deep. It, it can get deep, but I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible, you know, so that people can 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 understand it. 
yeah, it can get deep if I if I if I wanted it to. But I am I don't got the brain power for all that. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. want to tell stories. No hidden agendas, no nothing, dude. I just want to tell stories. But it's your baby, you might be surprised at what you come up with. Yeah. You know, and I ain't too and I ain't too proud to be like, huh, you can you can you can have it. Give me a good number. <laughs> give, me, sure. give, me, give me a good number with residuals and we're good <laughs> you know <laughs> number of residuals and credit that's that that's what i want you to do <laughs> you remember white ninja guy back in the day dude remember i was about to somebody buy white ninja guy I can't let him buy white ninja guy uh, little, little, little. No, dude. I remember white ninja guy bro huh i remember white ninja guy why ninja guy? This is funny, dude. I'll see people every once in a while. They actually remember him. It's crazy. At least, at least some on the online community, you know, who followed me. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Man, that's like a, that's like almost when you started. Yeah, that's when yeah. I started going professional. Yeah, you know? two thousand nine. <laughs> I remember, and I can't believe that's when I first picked up. Clip Studios when it was called Manga Studios back then. Manga Studios. Oh that? man, man, I thought I hit the 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 the, the revolutionary wave. I was like, man, I need to get this. I should have stuck with it back then, bro, because I would probably be matched at that program now. Had I stuck with it and kept with it, kept up with everything, dude, I'd probably be a master. I'd be like, Procreate. That is trash. I'd probably be one of the elitists. <laughs> <laughs> you know, man, I think they did a good job the way it's evolved over the years. You're going to pick yeah. it right up. Man. Arts are, I mean, digital arts, digital art. Right. You're going to pick it right up. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know yeah, what? Yeah. I'm curious what you think about that. Because when we started, we just had Photoshop, right? And then. And then the next thing that came along was let me let me switch over to your stream your your screen here um yeah because you coming up with some nice shapes for shapies right there bro yeah okay. um, it's on after a while um so we started it, you know we just had photoshop then it evolved mount the studio was just coming out but it wasn't hype enough yet for it to take full shoot because remember they market as a manga a manga tool mm -hmm. so that was so niche that it wasn't as popular yet well it was, was clip Studio. they were the same company they just clip right. studios what they called it in japan so right they just flashed off the manga and kept the clip. yeah and then we got sketchbook pro remember i remember sketchbook pro came out that was like that was procreate light bro Yes, it was. That was Procreate Light, man. And they redid it. A new company picked them up. Man, it's trash, bro. It's weak. <laughs> it's weak now, man. It's not the same. It hardly works. My my iPad won't even download it. It won't even. It won't even. It won't even. Really? It won't I, even load I, it up. I, I sketch on it. Like I'll. I haven't done any yeah. work on it. But the new version. I don't know. I think it's called Sketchbook by Sketchbook now, not by Autodesk. Yeah. It's not Autodesk. Oh, Autodesk anyway, doesn't well, own it no more. No, they gave it away. They gave it to another. They basically broke off a division, I think, of their own company, and then they just took it over from there. So you lost oh, the Copics. Wow. They didn't do Copics no more, but they have. I gotta yeah, admit, when they had Copics in there, that was nice. Yeah, man. The Copics was nice because Copics was gonna. When I had the Copics, if I wanted to do a test of how something was gonna look when I physically did it, I would do it on Sketchbook first, just yeah. to see what it would look like, and then bring it to the physical pay, physical. The color yeah, still was with the original Copics, you know, but they were they were never. Yeah. But uh, but procreate dog, procreate was that 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 holy grail, that perfect. It still is that perfect art program. It's accessible to everybody. It's simple enough to where 
you can pick it up. The learning curve's not so steep. You know? Yeah, it's like 10 bucks. Yeah. That's it. It's like 10 bucks, man. Ima- and imagine, I mean, imagine if, if, if that was available for Windows, bro, and not just iOS. Or even yeah. Android. Yeah. Man, that'd be nuts. Yeah, that would be nuts. I think the fact so that what they program- haven't. Hmm? No, I'm saying what programs? What do you What do you think about those programs just in general? Like, since you've been doing digital art, what do you th- What do you oh. think of the evolution of these of these programs and stuff? Yeah. Well, I have. I think Clip Studio and Photoshop are my bread and butter. Yeah. I want to like Corel Painter so much, bro. So right. much. Oh yeah, that's right. That was the big one too, Coral Painter. I yeah. already see people using it though. I see people more using Clip Studio or yeah. Photoshop. Coral Coral Painter was big for a while, but I don't it, see many people using it no more. One is the price, because back when Photoshop was like seven hundred bucks to upgrade, I mean, <laughs> right? new version you're paying seven hundred bucks, right? Yeah, yeah. Now it's ten dollars a month. And you got, you know, it's a hundred dollars a year. And, and, they're gonna do a little sub also, but it's not gonna be that expensive. And then you got Procreate for ten dollars. You yeah. don't want to pay four hundred dollars on Corel Painter no more. Yeah. You know? And I think for that reason, we're just kind of the war a little bit. I don't know. To me, it just I want to like them so much, but every time I try to use it, there's just these little bugs that creep in there, and it just frustrates me. Yeah. So I just eventually gave up. I yeah. said, all right, you know what? 2021 was the last year I have. Oh, no, 22 is the last year I have. Oh, yeah. I see it right down here. You know what's funny? I never, I, I tried to give it a shot, but I, to me, Coral Painter just looked too complicated. It looked like too much. You know? Mm. I don't know. Maybe it was the layout, maybe it was the UI design, but it was a total turnoff for me. You it know? was a layout. It wasn't very complicated. It doesn't have nearly as many tools as Clip. Was. Clip is by far, in my opinion, the most. I mean, you can do a lot in Photoshop, but Clip, it just it's just so intuitive. Like all the little rulers and stuff that you can use uh-huh. in this thing, especially these. I mean, these are my bread and butter. Where you can just manipulate that. You can't see that there. Yeah. But I mean, I use it a lot when I'm doing like my my mech design because you know. I mean, look at that and then there it is you tap it and then there's your oh, circle or your half yeah and, you know cool. you do the same thing with, yeah there's all your lines you can do the same thing holding shift but you can't do that in photoshop not that easily right right so when i do mech i always come to the studio that's cool always because eventually i'm going to make these lines here nice and finessed you know and when I do that, like if I have this guy right here, for example, it's in red. If this is like a, I don't know, just an edge, then I'd want to do it like that, right? right. And here's another edge. Boom. And then it's nice and just, you can't, and you cannot even play ball like that in Photoshop, you know? Right. When I do stuff like that. So you use those lines to create your curves and make sure that they're all nice and just crispy? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes yeah. it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it's obvious that it's a straight line, a straight line, but mm-hmm. yeah, I do then. Because, I mean, okay. technically, these guys are cars. I mean, I'm more interested in the car aspect than the fighting aspect of it. Yeah. You know, like, so I don't want really to battle grand or I want to see it turn into a Ferrari. And then I want to make those lines just crispy, you know? Right. So yeah. Me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what I worked on for. 18 years so to me yeah it's just fascinating, yeah you know? so you know what so yeah I'll you, you coming at your mechs from that angle you know being a car lover from yeah. just then 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 somebody who, who's drawing and painting mechs just for the coolness aspect again i think that shows up in your work too like there's a there's a more I guess tech. What's the word I'm looking for? Because I don't want to say technical. Because I'd say more of those traditional manga drawings are more technical. 
Yeah. But I guess it's more of a what's the word I'm looking for? It's just, I guess, a little bit more heart to it. There's a little bit more. They, they, these don't look, your Transformers don't look like mechs. They look like, they look like cars. Cars. You know, I guess it's hard That's to. It. Yeah, I, I love cars, man. Yeah. And you, and you totally, you totally put that, put that in there, you know? Yeah. Book rate is $12 now. It's still better than $400. Oh, <laughs> oh, I didn't it's know so well. Yeah. 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 See, man, you need to go live, bro, so that I can show you. I could. You could be showing me some tips and tricks. On this yeah. Thing. I need to. Uh, you do the stream yard. You know, you need to like, because a lot of people get Cliff Studio Paint and they're over it because, well, like your program, you know. Oh, I don't see yours, but. When you get this thing out of the box, it's just they give you all the tools at once, you know. Right. <clears throat> they give you all the tools at once and it's it is confusing. Sometimes it's just like what? So I take a lot of my away like this. Uh-huh. Or this. Dude, what is oh. Yeah, bro. Man. It bro, I'm gonna flip to my screen real quick. Dog, this mess? <laughs> all that bro yeah fusion bro. bro i'm like i was like I, I don't know what layer effect or frequency and range dot set. Uh, <laughs> what am i gonna do with all that what's that even mean bro yeah. and then and then they have the collapsible you know it, it's cool that it's collapsible but then it comes out with these extra Stuff oh, that's there. your quick. Yeah, that's your quick access. I don't really do that unless you want to hide everything else. You just have to dust that out. That's the thing that's more useful on the iPad. It's a smaller screen, so it puts all that in there. Yeah, I oh. use this side more. This, this right, this, uh, this side here more. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm learning the shortcut key. I have learned some of the shortcut keys. That that's helped me quite a bit. And this is the first program where I've actually used shortcuts because even when i was doing work in uh procreate i didn't use shortcuts like that you know well you can like click on one of those boxes on the right or i guess it's my right here i don't know what right that here. is but yeah click on that for example just click on it and then go up to the top where you see that x like all it more and more and more and more right a little to the right though a little to the right and drag it out, click on it, and drag it out. And drag it to the middle. And then let go. And now you can exit and just get rid of that. And if you ever want it again, you go to Windows and bring it back. Oh, but so I right in like, here? And I yeah, can... you go to Windows, and then wherever, whatever you want back, you can put back. Like, you can put your navigator up there. That might be pretty helpful. Gotcha. Gives you up. So whatever you X out doesn't mean it's gone forever. It's just you're basically hiding it. That way, all you have there is your layers, your brushes, and that's it. And all that other stuff is gone. So I can, so I can, I can customize this workspace then. Absolutely. Okay. Like, yeah, absolutely. Like you could grab. What do you like to use the most? Let's just. What, so, what do you like, to use? like, like, give me a brush you like. Okay, so. Actually, the, I think the okay. So I'm gonna tell you something. I think the pencil, and this is trash. <laughs> I think the pencil is outright garbage. It does not look like a pencil, bro. It's the like, what? What is that? What? Like, what is that? Um, that don't even look good. To me, that don't look good. Well, that's just one of your. Well, first off, that's two. <laughs> Hilarious. That, that, yeah, I mean, you have more options than that one. Hold yeah, on. I know. Hold on. So right here, that's the pencil. I don't know. To me, that looks... I don't know. I don't like the look of that. So... Those, I've been using, what about the so, I do, so I do my brush, and I like that... Um, or the... Uh, not the... Well, yeah, I like the mixing brush, but I also like the... Uh, this real G pen, bro. Mm -hmm. 
it's real G pen is the business. I just got, I gotta just get used to my pressure settings and you know and and my control with that. I could have to put that pen on the very top so you'll always go right to it. Like you can just grab it, hold down, and then just bring no no like bring it up to the middle where your toolbar is up there, like where that paint bucket is and all that other stuff to the right. Go to the right. Over here. Somewhere. Yeah, now let go of it. And then there it is. And every oh. time you want just that pen, it's right there for you. So now you can hit tab on your computer and it hides everything automatically. Like right now, if you hit tab, boom. Bruh. Yeah. And now you just have a nice clean workspace. And if you want to oh. hide, you hit shift and tab and that kind of hides your other personal stuff. So people aren't like seeing, you know, what the name of all your files are and all that. Right. We want them to see that. Okay. Okay. So I put just the essentials on my on my top. Like, you know, right now you have the piece cut up there. You'll never need that, bro. And then you have the those other like the what is this? Oh, I have it on the mic too. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's the, <laughs> oh, it's a delete button. I don't know if that deletes the whole layer or what, but you can get rid of stuff up there if you don't like it. Like, yeah. Un- redo. Paint bucket pool. The one up there will. It, it, it gets really deep, but there's a lot of customizations yeah. that you can do in this program, and it will become your best friend. Yeah. Yeah. I, I will say, if I have to say one thing I don't like about it, is that it's not utilizing our computer's graphics card to a point. Like, if you try to transform something, you'll notice it's real choppy. What is that? I was thinking, you know what? I was thinking that was my computer's fault or something or... No, bro. I, I have a pretty good, powerful work piece and it's never made a difference. And it's just it's just because they don't utilize the GPU very well in our programs. That's how they keep it so light. When I say light, I mean literal light. Like, you can run this program on just about any computer. You know? Because you know what? So- I, I'm glad you told me that, sir. <laughs> I'm so glad you yeah. told me. I'm sure people watching appreciate that too, because I mean now you can run it. But, you, know, you have your your downsides and your upsides. Yeah, I mean you got everything right, but this the right Photoshop is just so buttery smooth and it's quick and it's easy, but not this one. Yeah, that's that's good to know. Mm-hmm. That's really you know one thing that 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 confuses me a lot too is so like for instance. I got this here. What I had a hard time with, so say I, I'm selecting this, right? Oh, yeah. These is, buttons yeah. down here, bro, I'm like, which one shrinks it? Which one moves it? Which one? I know I go in the middle. I can, you see how, how I'm trying to move that? It's not moving. Oh, you want to transform it. It's right next to the paint bucket, I believe. Right? So right here? Oh, OK. We'll see where I circle, where the circle is. How come that's not moving at all? Wait, move it again. So I move it here with that circle. Oh, because I didn't finish. <laughs> I didn't finish uh, yeah, and that's graphic garbage right there. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Like, you program yeah. it makes it very smooth. You know, and then the explosion with all the lines that deletes it. You are you automatically have a cut and paste right there. So if you hit that clipboard it automatically cuts and pastes for you it's beautiful got you got you yeah i appreciate how the control z still remains the same yeah they added liquify to this too which i think once in a while will come in handy yeah Yeah. i don't use it for mac a lot but what i do what i do like though these tones dude are nifty bro nifty like I like toning. I love mm-hmm. toning, bro. <laughs> it is really cool. It's and I thing. see why when I um when I did this, why people dig this so much. I couldn't come up with these types of lines. And I'm sure yeah, it has to do with the brush. But I couldn't come up with these types of looking, you know, stuff on you know, procreate even. Yeah. You know? So that's that's really cool. 
So I'm just taking it like literally, you know, a step at a time, just learning certain things and hopefully, you know, hopefully, you know, over time I'll be able to just come in and and, and make it happen. So what's your so what's your plans, man, for the for the year? You have anything lined up that you think you might want to? I want to go to TFCon. That's for sure. Yes, bro. TFCon, but <coughs> my wife, she's got some ideas and stuff that she wants to start doing, and she's asking me for some help. So you know, I mean, she. she you know, it's all stuff related to her brand. So when the wife asks you to do it, you got to do it. You don't want to draw Pocahontas too bad. Your wife's asking you to draw Pocahontas. You got to put Optimus Prime down. And you're drawing Pocahontas. And we're saying that on live, bro. <laughs> 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 Anyone man watches knows the struggle, man. Oh my god, bro, that's so true. She's really good. Hey, she's making money on it. So what am I? Yeah, am I bro. I mean, yeah. hey, she's like, yeah. you know. So I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. I've been to so many shows, and I tell you what, it's not always what you draw. It's a lot of times it's who you are. People, when they come to your booth, if they like you as an artist, they'll invest in you and they'll hang in there with you. you know? but, and maybe it tells you something about me versus her. She's just like that. When you talk to her, she just, it's like you want to talk. Mm-hmm. You know, you can tell she's got a drive and a passion for what she has. So right. the stuff I try to sell or I draw, when I sell it, it doesn't have nearly the same impact as when she's mm-hmm. there. I mean, a woman sitting at a booth selling Ariel and Cinderella. It's a lot different than seeing a man standing there trying to draw it. And then yet on the, off to the side, you got a bumblebee. They're like, mm. <laughs> doesn't really, doesn't really like you know what you wanted to do here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we know why you're here, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean? Here, dog. <laughs> but I mean, when she does it, it's like, it's so I have to think of it from a business standpoint, like artists i think some people when they start they think oh man if i can draw i can spend my whole day doing exactly what i want to take it paid for it and that's not always accurate sometimes it's work and you may have to do i mean i wouldn't recommend anyone do it but they don't like and it's garbage but you may have to just give the fans what they want sometimes and say all right well i'm going to an anime show what does well there right right i i, I think that's when that comes to when you're pre-preparing stuff um, you know, you do want to go fit the theme of what you're going to sell as. Yeah. Um, I, I do think, though, there, there should be some balance as far as what it is that you want to do. Because if, you, if, you're, if you're always doing what other people want you to do, what will end up happening, and I've seen it, is a cooling off. Uh. Because you're not doing what you and your heart really want to do. Um, I think it's important for artists to stick up for themselves and and say, "Yo, this is like what I want to do." Now, on that on that note, though, if that is something you want to do, I think there does need to be a show of consistency for that. And I agree one hundred percent. There has to be a show consistency because if because if you got the talent and you're like oh no I just want to do this and I just want to do this you know but you're still watching My Hero Academia instead of you know getting up and drawing what you want to draw or what you want to put together you know you're right for somebody else who's who has a vision you know and then you're stuck drawing Pocahontas talking about why the blue corn movement is blue and all that stuff you know what I'm saying. You know, and, and I've been, I've found things for people, and it starts off really great. Mm-hmm. And after the third iteration, they're like, you know, like, man, you know what? 
and I've learned something from that. Like, okay, you know, you have to come in knowing, being honest with the customer. And I always, at first, I was kind of the, the yes man. Yeah. Can you do this? Absolutely. Well, what if we did this, this, this? 100%. And then you get home and you're like, okay, we're going to, we're still going to do it. And then you start to do it and you're like, we're going to take it out. It's not a thing Bro. You are done, right? Bro. And it's free because you already committed to it. You already told it. Yeah. You do it, so yeah. you're stuck. Yeah. You end up hating it. You want nothing to do with it anymore. You're done. You know? And after a while, that quality starts to go down and it shows, unfortunately. I had with my freelance projects, dude, I stopped doing freelance for that very reason. I, you know, I thought I would be like, yo, I want to, you know, I want to do logos and I want to do, you know, I want to do this. And I'm good at it. You know, I'm really good at making a logo. And, I, and to this day, I'll still do a logo for somebody if they ask. But full on projects, I did a full on book project for someone. I did all the drawings, the art, and a book project. Mm-hmm. I got it done. But let me tell you something, man. The excitement from when I first got the job to towards the end, I was just like, I just want to get this thing done, bro. Like, yeah. I don't yeah. want to do this no more. Like, I'm finished. Yeah. The revisions, the constant back and forth, the all of those things, man. It, it, it's taxing. It man. is really taxing, dude. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm saying this, so I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. But I had some that I'm like, wow, yeah. You know, and and I think it's people don't know where to get an artist. Sometimes they don't know where to, where do you go? Go on, no, 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 no. See you drawing transformers or whatever it is. Yeah. They approach you and say, hey, can you draw some flowers for my logo? Because all they see is that you're an artist and that you know. And you say, yeah, well, I I can use some money. So yeah, sure. Right. right. And that's where they get you. That's where they get you. You need the money. So you're going to do it. You're like, hey, you know. know. So I I realized the best place to put some of this stuff, you know, my wife takes good care of it. She sells out her show. She's got a show tomorrow, actually. Yeah. Yeah. She's been, this is the third show. It's all going to be in February right now. Mm -hmm. January. Huh? So is this mostly her thing now? Is this what she does now full time? Not shows, but she goes to a lot. Right now she's just trying to get her name out there in Florida. Yeah. But she's she's oh man. She's got several 3D printers in there printing even as we speak. It's nine thirty. Wow. Just going. She's not even here. She just leaves her running. All night, bro. That's the dream, dog. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. That's that's what I'm hoping to do with stickers, guy. Like I got, I'm making stickers and stuff. I'm doing the whole nine. I got, yeah, yeah. But see, you know what? The, that take like we were just talking about. Like this is her passion, so there's yeah. a drive there. You know, it's a it's a much it's a much bigger difference when there's a passion behind what you're doing, and in, in, in comparison to. Oh, I got to do it because, you know, got to pay rent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> it's different. There, man. It's built different. I did a test print of this here, but check that out. That's you? This is Pantheon. Yeah, this is the book. This is kind of the size that I would like to have it at when it's done. Yeah, man. Wow. You got it all printed out? Yeah. Because I have the printer now where I can print it out. Oh, so nice. It's like a sample. So this is actually going to a winner who um, is for a giveaway. I'm sending them all my test stuff. They're like, yeah, I want it. So I'm like, oh. Man, and how does that feel to know that you, you're... I mean, we've, we, we've had these conversations, bro. You know how long... I have waited, literally wanted to, you know, have this happen. Yeah. And now for it to finally be there and having the support system, you know what it's like to have a support system to Bro, to be know. fully behind you and not only just be behind you, but be like, what are you Encourage. doing? Like, yeah, encouraging it. And it's like, 
oh, I noticed, like, my wife was straight called me out, bro. You know, she'd be like, oh, I noticed you haven't been drawing for a few days. What's what's going on with that? <laughs> or she'll be like, you know, yeah, you know, oh, did you want to do this still? Are you still doing this? What's going on? Are you going on tonight? What, you know, yeah. so, and then, like I said, today, having me just making me get out of the car and stop when I was just like, my back hurts, I'm lazy. You know, had it not been for her to do that, you know, I wouldn't have known at all about anything that was going on. She's like, no, it's, 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 you know, yeah. And now that we found that out, now there's just an excitement on both ends where it's just awesome. So that's just motivating for me to keep going and, and doing what I'm doing. And that's and cool. It's great, man. It's a feeling like, you know, like right now I got stickers. I've been testing stickers out past few days like this Mighty Mouse sticker because my Mighty Mouse is dope. I don't care what nobody say oh man he was the he was the guy man what the um, dude he needs to come back I will yeah. if somebody's like hey we're rebooting Mighty Mouse would you like to do the cover all day bro <laughs> all day. so all you'd day. rather see it in an animated form or a I mean a comic form or an animated form oh I want to see a comic form because comic form you could do more with stories Cause, and then here's my swaggy stickers, bro. Remember the swagger, bro. You gotta keep them alive. Should be your logo. You gotta keep them alive, dude. It should be your logo, man. You gotta keep them alive. Yeah, now, my yeah. logo, my logo is me on the right hand corner, sir. That's yeah, yeah. Logo. That's shit. That's 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 your boy right there. Yeah. And then I started these. Oh, so you remember? You know Invincible? Huh. No. You never heard of Invincible, the comic? Uh, so it's a character named Omni Man. From Invincible? Yeah. And that's the no. oh, it's a superhero comic. It's uh, by uh, Robert Kirkman. It's tight, bro. It's tight. It's pretty fire. It's a little on the ultra violent side. <laughs> A comic book? Yeah. Well, because now it's an animated show, too. It's an animated show, no, too. I think that's where I've heard it. I've never seen it, though. Yeah. I don't have... What is it on? It's on Amazon Amazon Prime. Let's get back to... Got my got my second whack drawing here. Let's get back to... Random. Let's see what we're building up. Gonzalo. Right now, I'm just trying to do some designs and see what works. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't use references at this point. In fact, I mean, I use references until it's close to being done because the problem I have sometimes with using references is I don't know which one to use. And when you use it, <laughs> this is just my brain. My wife tells me I overthink. <laughs> you have a, a problem. It's not you overthink. It's a literal mental problem <laughs> and, and she goes and so what happens if i see multiple things my art piece will never be done not that i think a reference is better it's just different mm -hmm. and you work on something for hours and hours and you come used to it and you're like okay and then when right. you see something new you're like well i want to put that in there right and you put that and you look at another reference well i want to put that in there too and next thing you know your art piece is Right. It, it, that's just me overthinking. Yeah. So eventually, at some point, I'm gonna be like, okay, I need to that stuff. Yeah, yeah. The key, the key with that man, especially with reference, is just taking those things that you like, and and that's why I suggest Pinterest so much. Don't go down the rabbit hole of going on Google, because Google will jack you up. <laughs> Go on Pinterest and take those things that you like and try to create something from that. Because then it becomes your own at that point. And then, then it'll it'll remain yours because you did it in a certain way, you know, that that you're pleased with, you know, that you could put your mark on. And you can make it your own and make those tweaks or whatever. Um so that that would be my suggestion for that you know 
because there are some things that reference will show you that you know sometimes you might not be able to get dead on you know but yeah, if, right. if you use a reference or you have a reference that, that shows you what something looks like then yeah then you'll be good man at one time I did something for my wife <clears throat> I don't know what it was it's one of the Disney princesses mm -hmm. I worked on it for a while bro it was probably like three hours yeah and after the three hour mark you're, pretty, you're feeling pretty confident about yourself right. if you don't have to stop you're like you're gonna love this right so I sent it to her she comes in and this is when you know you're going absolutely nowhere if you're looking at a customer send the customer a copy of your work right this is when you know you are going absolutely nowhere it's when the only the first thing out of their mouth is did you even look at a reference Right? Look <laughs> you that way, you're thinking, wow. I mean, they knocked the sugar coat right off the top. Bro. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> 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 so, like, no, she goes, well, first off. Like, no, no Vaseline today, bro. You're like, you're just going to take it. <laughs> and then, like, I'm like, well, what's wrong with it? She goes, well, first off, I don't know what it was. Jewelry was off. I mean, there's one thing to make something yours, right? You change it so much, you can't right? Right. It, right. Yeah, it's still got to so, be familiar. It's got to be familiar. And yeah. if you put an iconic piece on there, like right. Disney princess, and you put the crown or a necklace yeah. or whatever, it's got to look like it does in their film, right? Like, otherwise, it's like, what are you putting on? You know, right? And so I was like, okay. And so I learned something. When a customer gives you something, they go, hey. I like your style, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to make this Ninja Turtle, but in your style. You right. better have like 20 Ninja Turtle references sitting in front of you. <laughs> I'm serious, bro. You better have the band, the weapon right, the shell better look right. You know, <laughs> yeah, that's for real. Ninja Turtles, you got more liberty to, to, take, to take creative liberties. Yeah, this yeah. I learned, bro, with Disney, you better learn how to draw like Walt, like Walt Disney. That needs to be dead on. You take creative liberties with that stuff, and it's like, it's like what? Are you doing? The army of women that will come after you, Disney lovers, women, dude, that come after you. This is not Ariel. This is Araya, and I don't know who this is. You know, it's 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 a trip. So certain things like when I draw fan art of certain certain characters, yeah, I stick with, you know, that I'll, I'll put a little spin to show that it's mine, you know, whether it be something a little bit more angular or or, or something to show that it's Ian Walker. But in a general sense, I'm just like, you know, stays the same. Yeah, sorry, my my daughter just came into. No, that's what says. That's a deer. That's Anaya. Oh, that was Anaya. Go YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, also. Oh, all on the internet. We know. All on the internet. No, that's <laughs> she looks this nice. All now, bro. But no, you're right, bro. She's tall as Brandy. Yeah, I saw that in the in the in the in the in the Instagram. I was like, oh my gosh, bro. Little clones of each other walking around in Disneyland, dude. So yeah, no, I agree with you, man. I've had. Sometimes, you know, a customer comes back and says something and it's just real nice and constructive. Like, okay, yeah, I can do that. Right. Just flat out embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I like, that's, that's something right there to talk about, bro. Huh? That's something to talk about right there, man. The most embarrassing critique you've ever had, dude. Oh, sorry. No, me? Oh, man. I have. I can't even count, bro. I had, <laughs> you know, you're, you know, you're absolutely going about it all wrong, <laughs> all wrong. And you better hope you haven't already put the concept on Instagram because you know, you going about it all wrong is when you're doing a job for a customer uh, that can't draw <laughs> and send him your four hour prelim. I call it like a prelim. Like, here's my halfway point right and he says so then he draws a bubble sketch on a napkin with the sharpie 
and says, I need it to look like this. <laughs> and he says, I need it to look like this. That's and what I would have wear. That's what I would have wear, Ella Petty, bro. <laughs> Just draw it exactly the way he drew it on the napkin. I would have wear it. There you go. <laughs> you mean like this? <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you. So those were the moments. In, in, oh like, my god! And I had one guy. It just wasn't gonna work. Really? He asked me. This is no lie, man. This is just one minute. Like, tell me, what would you think? He says, "I need." He, I don't know. He gives speeches to a wide variety of people. I don't really know what kind of speeches they are. Some type of self help better kind of speeches uh-huh. and so he wants three different robots that look non-gender i'm like well that's easy i mean i thought i'm just gonna make no shapes just kind of you know like a what do you call it short circuit looking little robot kind of thing you know right give it any character yeah and then halfway through he's like well you know what i'm thinking i actually want him to be not robots because I think people that I speak to will identify if it's a person. I'm like, okay, man or woman. No, non gender. I'm like, well, what does that mean? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking in my head because how do you politely tell a customer, you know, we automatic our brain automatically assigns a gender as soon as you see somebody. Right. From birth, we just know. I don't care. Right. What your beliefs are on non-binary, whatever that we don't even have to go into that. Right. But I, I this is no knock against anyone's personal belief, but right. The reality is the reality. Right. Right. And as artists, that's how we make our our characters look like who we want to look like. Right. Right. So I send him one. I'm like, <laughs> and it looked like like a noodle man. Like it just looked like noodles. Like art. <laughs> had like no shoulders, bro. Hey, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I, <laughs> I had like no shoulders. I mean, they were just dragging shoulders. It was just a basic head. And I'm like, and, and then it's like, hold on. And he's like silhouette. And I'm like, you. So finally, he just we went back and forth a few times, oh and I knew God. I was going to say. I'm going to pay you for the concept, but I think I'm just going to keep what I already have. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So I looked at what kind of already has, like what, and, and then this is before he decided to go non-gender. It looks just like a, 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 a robot from the Flintstone, you know, like the, not Flintstone, the Jetsons, you know, just a normal robot. But right. he wanted a robot to look like a human. And then once I tried to do that, he wanted the human to look like human, but don't mm-hmm. assign a gender. I'm like, how do you do that? God. Bro, I asked above my pay grade. So I was like, I'm done. Ugh. Yeah, but he paid me, you know, I, like, and you know what I've learned over here? Always charge even for your, unless it's like a friend. Right. Unless it's something you can draw in one minute on a little sketchy pad, no uh-huh. charge. Charge. Oh, That's yeah. my advice to anyone who might be listening. Trying to get the art, the concept you charge, yeah, all day, charge. and that's why I charge. You know what I tell you? Because yeah, because it's a part of that. It's a part of that whole whole process. Um, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. It includes for me. It includes all of that. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. But it was, it was, that's that was fun, dude. Embarrassing. Yeah. You know, it's hard to hear people's tone when they're emailing you. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. You're, yeah. You get no mind, and you're like, man, that sounds kind of like, rude. This person's got attitude. Yeah. <laughs> You've been reading it with attitude. You know? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You're like, exactly. You want it white. Right. Like yeah, you're like, oh, can we change the car white? It's like, bro. I think you need to calm down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I put a lot of work into this thread. White? What do you mean white? I yeah. <laughs> I'm offended, bro, because we did the, I did the work for a guy. I like, so funny. Kind of car in a robot in a transformer. 
Because yeah, uh, I did a couple of them. He's like, well, we already have a blue one. Can you make it white? But I heard it with that. And because yeah. that attitude, I'm not going to do white. I'm going to do fuchsia. And you're going to make Yeah, I'm going to charge you. Yeah. Oh, man. That's funny, man. I've I've had some I've had some pretty embarrassing ones. Mine's been more or more when I first started uh, going professional. <laughs> I had a dude tell me, "How dare you call yourself professional? You're you're you 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 don't even understand the basics of anatomy." No, now that's got to be hurtful. The amount of hot anger. That I felt, bro, of just the complete disrespect that I felt, bro. Oh, and it was funny because I was that cocky, you know, I was that cocky dude. I was like, you know, anatomy, I could, you know, I, I copied from comic books. <laughs> I don't mean I'm good on my, <laughs> I'm good on learning anatomy. You know, it's the same as Superman looks the same from here. I, I don't, you know, as long as I know where it is, I don't, I'm good. My That's goodness, just like, bro. My goodness, bro. Kind of humble yourself, huh? Oh, man. I used to be on, um, again, see, this, this, for those of you guys, you know, watching, listening, kind of that stop start. I, I was doing this, like I said, back in 2009 at the advent of, I was here before Twitch. I was on here before going live online was cool. I was here at the beginning when this was called Ustream. I don't know if you remember Ustream, but I had my show sketching it with Ian Walker and I would draw my sketch cards and stuff. And that dude on there was like clowning me during the show. What? Oh, uh, during the show, bro, and I had to keep my composure. When I tell you Christ was my portion that day, bro, oh, man. <laughs> you know, not to lose my cool and not to, you know, just to keep it together. Ugh. But I will say, you know, if, if you get people telling you the same thing, different people telling you the same thing, yeah, 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 yeah. You have a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a problem, and you have to listen. Yeah, yeah. and that's what I was getting a lot of. It was <laughs> like your anatomy's off. You don't seem like you know what this is. You seem, you know, they're overly that man. And I was just getting it, bro. I'm like, you don't know, you 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 can't even draw. You know, it was like, <laughs> you know, yeah. But it it was true because once I did. Like you said, once I decided to humble myself and actually learn what these things were and learn anatomy, my art improved dramatically. Right. You know? So, and then that's what taught me never be complacent with your learning. You know, always be willing to, one, go back to the basics. If you, you know, and that means doodling random stuff all the time. Like I do this exercise now where I just doodle weird shapes. In fact, I might go ahead and do that. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and doodle some shapes and stuff. And then just to make sure my contours are on point, I will, I'll go ahead and, and just do the contour lines and all that type of stuff on there just so that I can you know stay everything stays copacetic because you're yeah. never too good enough to learn the basics ever 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 and that's the other thing too I found myself falling into that same trap where you don't get any constructive criticism mm -hmm. I was like because first off person doesn't need to be in art to be able to see something that's wrong Art. right because i mean we're used to seeing the human body we know when something's wrong and we know when it was done intentionally because a lot of art is wrong you know right you look at anatomically speaking wrong but we know mm -hmm. we can identify when it's done on purpose 
and sometimes I've gotten myself into a rut of doing something for so long and no one said anything. And I didn't bother looking at, you know, references to check my work you right. know, or nothing like that. And then you mm-hmm. finally get called out and because it's already been ingrained in your head. You think, yeah, you have the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no? yeah. Right. I mean, I yeah. You know, like, kind of. Yeah. You got to unlearn a lot of bad habits and practices that you've done because you haven't, you know, yeah. those things told to you. Yeah. That can be real. That can be real, uh, real annoying. <laughs> yeah. Real annoying. So stuff that I'll do like this here. And just come up with the shapes of stuff. And I've noticed doing this exercise, this one simple exercise, I try to do it every day. Mm-hmm. But it helps me with my shapes. It helps my brain to understand what things are. So t- turning a 2D shape into a 3D shape, you know, that helps a ton. And so then when I end up going back and doing like a, you know, piece of clothing or a, or a square shape, I can adjust it that way. But yeah, art is a journey though, man. And one of those things that you got to have also by your side, you got to have that person that's willing to, that's willing to clown you. Now, I think, (laughs) for real, just tell you straight up, dude. I mean, you look at something like that's trash. You know, we've done it with each other, you know? Yeah. We've done it. We've been through the journey. <laughs> we have been through yeah. the journey, man. You've been like, Brandon, what is this, bro? Real talk, dog. What is then, You know, when I started it, it seemed like it made sense. Huh? Then you're thinking to yourself, when I started this, it seemed like it made sense. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> For real. For real. <laughs> For real. <laughs> that is so funny. That is so funny, but it's so true. It's very true, man. You got to have that perspective, man. Don't let your mama look at stuff. Your mama's always going to love your stuff. People it's always love. perfect when mom sees it. Yeah. Because you can you do nothing wrong with mommy, mommy, guys. Yeah. Listen, if anyone's listening, mom and grandma, that doesn't count. That does not count. That doesn't count. Those are the people you go to when you're having a really bad day and you just need to yeah. the code. You know? Boom. Boom. Yeah, mom and dad do not count. Mom, grandma, none of them. No. Do not go to them for nothing. You go to that one friend that talk about you like a dog. And it's because they love you. It's real talk. It was like... <laughs> for real. <laughs> you know? But... We got we got some of our best ideas by clowning on each other, bro. Yeah. Finger bullets, our best inside jokes, clown each other, but they all, but the connection always sticks, bro. And then it comes to that, you're like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> what are these bullets, bro? Get out of here. And another thing too, going to conventions, and you'll know real quick. Yes. Yeah. Now I will say, going to the conventions is for the brave because because when you go to a convention if you are not mentally prepared for that critique do not go to a convention you need to be you need to be I, I, I would say you almost probably need to be at a professional level um to a point and I'm saying professional level to a point where you're wanting to break into the industry 
to to get that kind of critique because you need that kind of critique in that industry it's very unforgiving if you're not if you're trying to do stuff on your own and just be like yeah i want to come out with comics every once in a while and whatever you know i i honestly would say that's not for you <laughs> i would honestly say stay away from that because that's not the kind of thing that you're looking for um but if you are, if you are, um, yeah, get, 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 get yourself on, get yourself a, a critique with some cool friends that, um, that's going to tell you what's up, please. action figures now. I'm using my collector. Collector. Well, it depends on what it is. What? Sometimes, you know, you change stuff too much. To, you know, and like, so what I've learned over the years too is like, just people buy what the art is into. Right. Breaking up with just original art out of the gate is so hard to do. So yeah. Yeah. You know, so I use my collectibles, my figures I have I love Transformers I have all of them just, mm -hmm. I'll use those as references that's actually my main reference sometimes but I want to change them to make mine well I've gone too far sometimes and I've had people like <laughs> yeah like slow down there thunder who is this yeah, they're like, well who's this supposed to be and that's when you know you messed up be like that's optimist be like no <laughs> Like an optimist. Optimist. He looks more like optimal. This is not. Yeah. This is this. I, I don't and know. I, my, the show I. My worst show was. Oh my God. Bro. Reno. And I drove all the way up there from where I lived at the time in California. Mm -hmm. It was about two hours. One, I think it was just one day. Right. Well, maybe it was a two day. I can't remember if it was one or two days, but <clears throat> I tell you what, we were talking about critiques earlier. Sometimes critiques doesn't just come in the form of someone else telling you something wrong. Sometimes it's just an experience. Right. It teaches you something, right? You're like, mm -hmm. okay. So I'm there. <laughs> and man, it is my worst show that I was. Now, I've had other bad shows, but speaking to other artists who realize the show is just garbage. And everyone had a bad time. Right. But this one particular show, I was the only one that had that problem. And I couldn't understand what it was. I'm looking at it mm -hmm. like, you know? Right. And some other artists, they feel bad for you. It's like a community, right? And that's what they have right. about having right, other artists around. Is It's not all about jabbing each other. It's like you're not like a competitive thing. Right. It's like a community with that they're there for each other. So the guy comes over and he's been doing shows a long time and he tells me a few things that I didn't really like to hear at the time. Because I was more like, <laughs> <you're> bro. <laughs> well, was that day, like, that's the last thing you, thing you want is critiquing, dude. <laughs> when you're not making any money and you're sitting yeah. at your table and, you know, people come to the table and then they're like, oh, who is it? And you tell them who it is. Oh, okay. Okay, and they just casually walk away, uh, only to find that their bag is full of like ten prints an hour later. Oh wow, okay, so they had the money; they just didn't like your stuff. They sure did not, bro. They didn't like your stuff, right? And so, I uh, the guy. Wow, was like, oh, that hurts, man. Yeah, he's like, man, you know, if I'm gonna be honest with you, you have like no rhythm to your art, no theme. It's like going to a garage sale, and they have little bits and pieces of everything throughout the house. It brings. Mm -hmm. Is it. That's why you go into a store like Safeway over here. We have what's called Publix here for yeah. Florida. So depending on where you're at when you're watching this, go go into a grocery store and you'll see that everything is in an aisle because it's got a thing. There's yeah. categorized. That's just how we're used to shopping. So I'd have like I don't know some random character, you know, like <laughs> you know, no Batman or Superman, but I'd have like dog the super dog you know right, Ace the right? 
and then not Batman, but I'd have Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Dude, I remember that, bro. <laughs> I remember. Yo, I'm gonna be different. <laughs> I'm gonna be different. <laughs> hey, bro, and we learn. This is how we learn, right? And I'm like, I'm not gonna have Optimus, but I'm gonna have Sideswipe. That doesn't even yeah. look like Sideswipe, right? So, and this is just random stuff. You know, you have like one character from this group, one character. From this group. So people they walk by and they're like, what? <laughs> Like what is it? Both of you didn't walk in the same way, bro. And then you had a Snickers bar was right next to the milk. It was oh. right next to the bananas. You'd be like, I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm finished. I'm done. What are we doing? You'd be like, they don't have anything, even though they what had everything. We, yeah, we you know, got sick, bro. There. <laughs> bro, and that was hard to listen. Then oh. another, I was next to this one guy. And you know when other artists, because when you're at a con, you have to stand right. When you're sinking, everyone knows you're sinking. People pay attention, bro. They know when you're not everybody. Everybody. So everybody knows. And so at this point, you're just happy if someone comes up and starts a conversation. Someone just talk to you. You don't have to buy anything. You know? <laughs> the guy next to you. So artists will feel sorry for you. And they'll be like, oh. They always kind of ask the same thing. Doing pretty good? And it's like, what's up with that? Like, hey, I know. Yeah. If Jesus was alive in the world right now, did he get it? (laughs) (laughs) And they're like, and you're like, yeah. You're like, you know what? I just don't want to talk about it right now. Oh. So I had one guy next to me. His booth was so fire. And mine, by comparison, was not. That people (laughs) were waiting in line. This is when you know you got. This is when you know it's time to pack up and just leave. I'm gonna be honest. They say, "Oh, don't quit." This is when it's time you might want to think about quitting. You might want to pack up. It's when the guy next to you's line is so it's just on fire that his customers form a line in front of your booth, <laughs> and nobody can see your stuff. And it got bad enough where people were sitting their soda down on my table. Bro, that's what you You're putting your coat, your coat down on my. Because they don't know what it is, right? They just think, oh, it's a <laughs> putting the churros, the popcorn. Down. They're like, oh, a John Wick print. He doesn't even exist yet. <laughs> <laughs> people were changing their people were changing their kids on my table, bro. Oh, the man. Stuff, you know? And it's like just the disrespect, man. So, oh, God. but hey, man, I learned. I tell you what, I I learned a lot, and I wouldn't trade those experiences with nothing. Right, right, you know? right, man. You remember, you remember my bad experience. Wow, dude, that yeah. day will go down in infamy, bro. Bro, I remember that. Oh my god, dude, I almost died that day too. I'm still saying that's like a dramatic, bro. But I, I literally almost died of starvation that day too. My man, my man here gave me a pity meal, everything, bro. Man, I Brandon almost never dipped his toes in the art pool, dude. If it were for that experience, dude. <laughs> You're like, this is gonna be like this. I think I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna turn my thing to this one. You know, oh like, man. I, I we had that same thing. You remember that one dude who had the who right across from me? First, first off, it was my fault. It was my fault. <laughs> I just had original artwork. Yeah. You know, that was that was priced pretty high. I had no prints. I had maybe one sketchbook. <laughs> you know, one sketchbook that I was selling. Mm-hmm. Man, and remember that dude across the way from me, dude, who was selling like, I, what was he even selling? It was like Invaders Them stuff. It was something super simple. But the dude was just blowing up, dude. Just sold, yeah. sold out his prints both days. And his he thought you were brought up too. So then he would talk about it. Man, I, he wasn't trying to brag. He just thought you were on the same level. So he's like, man, I made my table back. I'm on the profit level now. Yeah. And you're like, look, I don't need to hear that. I'm like, must be nice. Bro, I was so salty. I was so salty. My blood sugar was low. Yeah. It was so bad. I remember I didn't eat anything that whole day because I was there trying to trying to make that paper oh man it was so bad 
It was so bad. It was bad. <laughs> Y'all, had them. Y'all had those experiences. Yeah, I think, you know what, though? I think those experiences, though, those are the ones I like to call the fire. You know? It's almost like if you haven't had that experience, are you really an artist? You know, if you haven't had that humbling moment or that really bad show, you know, where you're questioning what you're doing. Yeah. You know, I I will say that show did scar me. (laughs) That show scarred me. It was a traumatic experience. I didn't do shows. I didn't do a show for a minute after that. Um, the next show that I did was in Santa Rosa. Mm. It was like a one-day show out there. <laughs> but yeah, but you gotta have those. You gotta have those. Uh, you gotta have those experiences. You gotta. You gotta have that understanding because um, you know. They, 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 they make or break you. I mean, you kind of make a decision after that as to, you know, who you are and who right. you want to be as an artist at that point in time, you know? Yeah, it kind of puts it, it kind of makes your, it kind of adds the extra value to your work. I think with anyone doing whatever they want to do, when they have like what they call blood, sweat, and tears invested into it, mm-hmm. you know, years of just saying, hey, man, I didn't wasn't just we see these guys on Instagram and we oh, are killing it. They're killing it. It took them years to get there, and yeah. they get the they got the feedback. You know, they got that feedback that they, they are right. You know, I'm a, I, I had just a real lately. I just really trying to adjust to this move, so I'm not really mm-hmm. you know, really motivated. Right. No. How you feeling now? Well, I've been just doing. Well, my wife trying to keep me back in the gear. She's just like, "Hey, listen, you know, we have big shows this summer, and I need new stuff because people are seeing the same stuff." Mm-hmm. I'm like, "Okay, man." She, you know what? My best show. Mm-hmm. Me personally, my best show. Man, I'm trying to. Like six, seven hundred bucks for me. Wow. Like when I, like, yeah, and I don't think that was all because the, sh- the table at the time was about that. Oh, Randy so gets it. Even. Yeah, and I was like, and it was all transformer stuff. It was the first show I brought, and because now my, my heart's in it, and I right, you know, like, uh, right. I mean, you can tell when someone really enjoys what they're doing, even if you're right. Your art is that great. Start with stuff that you like. Yeah. And you will progress so much quicker that way, you know. Right. But then Brandy, she gets sometimes she'll hit like two thousand or more. God, bro. It's just because, dude, she she knows how to market. And, and so if you're if you listen to this, you're thinking about starting up with these shows, they can be pretty profitable. Right. You know, man, don't know if I should have done those numbers out there like that. No. <laughs> you're good. Yeah, you're good. It's going to be different for everybody, you know. That's don't gonna be don't, don't do anything based on what you think you're going to, you know, on that. But yeah, yeah. Some people just go to network, and they're not really looking to make a huge profit. And that's fine too, yeah, especially fine. nowadays. To have those connections is an important thing too to build those resources. I go to find the latest collectibles. There you go. Everybody's got their reasons. Amen. Everybody's got their reasons, bro. Yeah. So I'm, you know, so with this new, with this everything, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to take it slow. Um, I'm just gonna go there, like I said, to try to build those, build connections. Hopefully, build some kind of resources and get my name back out there again. And I think. You know, as artists, that's what, you know, you should do that as much as you can, whenever you can, you know, 
Um, having connections with people that you know is invaluable. If you go there with the idea just to sell, 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 which is, yeah, that's what you want to do, but, yeah. you know, again, when somebody kind of notices you're kind of desperate for the money, they kind of sense that, and it can kind of be a turnoff. Um, especially if you don't do it correctly or if you're somebody that's not you know too savvy with with uh, you know sales too because for some reason what I noticed like if you don't do anything behind the table people kind of look at you like 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 you're kind of like you know they kind of like kind of stay away from you a little bit Hmm. because you're like that awkward you know type of thing and people kind of sense that um but get up talk to people you know get yeah. and, and talk to people don't yeah. sell to people talk to people right. you know when they ask you for when they ask you about you know it's like it's just like you said earlier man if people see that you're passionate about something you know and they like you as a person they're gonna ask you what you're doing you know they're going to ask you. So, you know, be interested in the person, you know, and who they are. You know, it's good to make observations. One of the things I saw was um, uh, this person would, he wouldn't even sell them anything. He wouldn't tell them nothing about their stuff. Yeah, they saw he had a table. Yeah, they saw he was an artist. But people would walk by and he'd be like, oh, that's a dope shirt. He'd be very observant. Oh, that's a dope shirt. Oh, that's a sick, you know, so-and-so that you got here. Oh, man, that's really cool. You know, or ask a person a question based on, you know, uh, uh, what they got on or something. Or or, or or based on a conversation him and his partner are having at the table. Hey, I want to ask you a question because my partner here is ridiculous. He thinks so-and-so and so-and-so. What do you think? Oh, well, I think this and this. Okay. He said he did that with one person, didn't want to bring up his stuff. He just asked a question, like a viewpoint question. And he ended up selling like like 50 bucks worth of stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, because he was just talking to the person. So just talk to people. Talk to people. You never know what'll happen. And I know for sure I'm gonna implement those things at my shows and hopefully people will like me as a person and see what I have to offer and be willing to support it. You know? Um, And they see somebody that just wants to tell a story. There's no agendas in my stories. There's no you know, hidden hidden nothings in my my work. You know? Um, It's just, just having a good time and uh, and and just putting my stuff out there, man. I just want people to see it. So this is one of the things that I like to do here. Here with these shapes. Every time I do this and then I go back mm-hmm. and draw that whenever I have weird shapes or something like that, my brain can... my brain then identifies with it better it's like something clicks it's like I found the two of this tip on YouTube an artist on there he's just like draw these shapes turn your turn your 2D shapes into 3D shapes and your brain will be able to understand how something is shaped you can pull out the 3D shape out of that 2D shape you know and just doing this exercise this, this helps a lot yeah. this will probably help you out too with your mech drawings too man you know just doing yeah exercise like this probably help you out a bit too bro i got the, uh, i got the note phone or something for it. Uh-huh. I'm, surprised. I'm sure you already know like even doing 10 minute sketches a day like when you sit down somewhere mm-hmm. it really helps uh, yeah I mean, you got, it comes with a little stylus, so you're not going to mark the finish. Right. But, I mean, it's something. Draw a mm-hmm. face, a foot, a hand, something. Yeah. 
man. I do so uh, on this oh, one. Oh, yo, what's good? I found you once yeah. again. <laughs> what's good, man? How you doing? I know you follow me on Twitch, right? You better you gotta be following, but that's how you know when I'm on. And you won't lose me, sir. You won't lose me. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> This is my man Brandon from Dwight Illustrations here. We're just uh, over here chopping it up, talking about our experiences and art and uh, talking about our projects, talking about our show experiences, our plans for the future. Yep. So, yeah, we just, we just over here. Show this setup. Can you show the setup? What? Can you show your setup? My setup, yeah. I mean, I or another could. time. Yeah, but well, I mean, just I'll, I'll do it another time. You can see my setup on on Instagram. I don't think I put it up on Instagram. On your yours, your who young? Yeah, it's super simple. Oh yeah, it's super simple, dude. Simple pimple. Yeah, yeah it's right underneath my uh, main board. I'll show you. I'll send you a picture too. So can I send you a piece I recently did? Yeah. Shoot it to uh Are you wanting a critique on it or are you just wanting to show me or what what how, what are you feeling? Whatever you're up to. No, don't do that because I don't want to be I don't feel like I'm feeling like critiquing and all of a sudden you hate my gut because I decided I wanted to go for a critique. <laughs> what are you what are you looking for? Talk to me. I love critiques. Okay. All right. So I'll tell you what, so since you wanted me to do a critique, what I'll do, go ahead and send, go ahead and send it to this email. And uh, I'll pull it up. Now I'm gonna warn you. Now I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be terrible, but I don't believe in sugar coats. So if you ask for a critique, you get a critique. But it'll be constructive, I promise. I don't I don't I don't rip up. I just I want I just sent it in the art critiques page on Discord. Okay. You'll make me go back in my Discord. I don't have this. I do have a Discord that I never use. Because nobody ever uses it. You're like the only one that uses my Discord. But you know what though? I probably do I probably should bring it back. It's just for this very reason but for now but for now go ahead and send it to my email so i can pull it up right now in my email i'm waiting i'll i'll wait for it to come through Putting it on the stream? Yeah. That's what that's what I said. So I do it now if you want to. Hey, hey, you you asked for it, sir. <laughs> Commit. <laughs> So I got a lot of stuff uh, going on, a lot of projects and stuff that's done. I'm done with the first issue of my comic book, finished it literally today before I got on. So that's going to go to print soon. I'm going to open up the uh, the pre-sale list, uh, open up a pre-sale list on Monday. So anybody that wants in on it um, can can 
get a copy of that. So, I know I got one name so far. And right now I'm writing issue two, and I'm going to finish writing all the books before I get work get to work on the rest of them. Let's see here. Man, my man Rake is still, still doing it big. Oh, I haven't seen that guy in a long time. That dude is still killing it, bro. Still killing it. So I'm gonna have to sign off here in about ten minutes. Ten minutes, okay. Alrighty then. What days are you on? Do you have a specific? Day? I need to set. I need to set specific days. Um, but after a while, I'm gonna start streaming. Uh, to. During the day now. So let me see here. Stop screen. Oops. Let me do this here. Present share screen window. All right. So you said this is a commission here? Local Proto. Okay, a ten dollar commission. All right, Zach. So first critique immediately right there. Stop charging ten dollars for your work. Yeah, that, that 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 that's that's a no. That and that one I'll be harsh. To like stop charging ten dollars. Honestly, um. I will say charging that low and putting in the amount of, how, how long did it take you to do this? <laughs> because Zach, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm going to tell you is that your time, yeah, bro. No, mm -mm. That, that's so let, uh, let's go at the highest. So, you 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 did you it took you six to seven hours to do this so pretty much you were paid a dollar and 43 cents an hour to put in this work i'm gonna just let you sit in that for a minute yeah okay this is something that you know artists we really gotta stop undervaluing ourselves really got to stop it because the fact of the matter is they're asking you to do something that they can't do and what they're paying for is not a picture they're not paying for a drawing okay what they're paying for is experience and time and skill that's what they're paying for to create the, the picture that they want okay so you you undervaluing yourself like this it, it's really hurting you in the long run can i ask you how you felt after you was done did you feel like this was worth ten dollars because um I think it's great that you are getting commissions. That's cool. That's cool. But um, um, I got a Discord membership worth ten dollars actually. So yeah. Uh, well, I don't understand. Is that what you were given as payment? Was a ten dollar Discord membership? I don't. I don't understand the the answer. 
All right, Zach. <laughs> nah, bro. We, hey, and you, you know, right? You are. I hope you remember this day, bro, because you're gonna be like, yeah. So this one artist <laughs> asked him to give me a critique, and he didn't really contribute the art. He, he was just mad that I charged nothing for my art. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't have this happen to me until I was in my twenties. So, look, man, you, you 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 can't do that. You're worth more than that. You're worth more than this, bro. You're worth more than this. If you're good at something, never do it for free. That's what the Joker says. And if no truer words can be said, especially of artists. Okay. So. He said if you're good at something, you know. Yeah, it, it's true. It's true. Um. So so moving on to the art. So so stop 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 charging charging ten dollars and 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 stop charging a gift certificate because that's pretty much what you got paid. You got paid a gift certificate. You got paid a gift card, a Discord gift card. You're better. You're better than this, my man. That's that's. Nah, don't do that to yourself. Because what you're doing then is you're setting yourself a precedent. And anyone who looks at your artwork after that, when they find out that you charge that, will think that's all you're worth. Start now charging yourself at a decent wage. And I'm not saying charge charge grandiose. Um, because you do need to build up. There do there does need to be a balance, especially if you're doing it for the first time. But there needs to be some some balance there but ten dollars man is 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 unacceptable you work for a dollar and 42 cents no no um so for your so i do want to ask so for your work here it looks like can you educate me on what what i am looking at it looks like it uh okay what i think i'm looking at are like they look kind of like Digimon type of type of characters, and they're like in virtual reality headsets. They look like they got on VR headsets. That's kind of neat. Protogen and Primogen. <laughs> it's a furry commission. Oh, okay. So I'm not familiar with the furry uh, genre, so I wouldn't know. I don't know who they are, but you know that's why. That's why we have the internet. Protogens are anthro-cyborg-like creatures. More like mammal in appearance. More upright in stature. Oh, okay. Okay. Got you. I see now. Got it. So these, you know what? This, in real talk, this kind of reminds me of, uh, of Digimon. Honestly, when I'm looking at, because that's what I thought in my head when I first saw this was Digimon. So they wanted three. So they wanted three of these characters in the head in the heads here. Believe it or not, I've been drawing for five months. Really, that's good, man. If this is what you're producing in five months, that's good. This is really good. So I, I'm going to I'm going to show you something, and if I can show you this, I, I was actually doing it on the stream with Brandon here. Um, oops. I want to show you something that I think will help you with these types of uh, things in the future. Should you do more of them? So this is an exercise that will help you understand shape language and make your things pop out even, you make your shapes pop out even more, okay? Um, these are just how, how I start that out with these and you can do these on regular paper or on your digital whatever you start out with just a random whatever shape 
then to understand that shape, you then break this break this down and turn it into a 3D shape. Okay. If you're able to do this exercise, that's going to help you uh, with that. Sometimes you're going to get it right. Sometimes you're going to get it wrong. But but you're training your brain to make these shapes. Okay? So that in the future, when you do other drawings, um, your brain is going to be able to comprehend, you know, how to do that and you'll be more accurate in your 3d shaping so what i'll say is that you're it's good you just i mean you just told me that you you know it why do i keep doing that um that you've been doing it for five months which is cool keep sketching okay keep it up for um keep it up you did you did very good um what i would say though is with your 3d shapes add a little bit more dimensionality i would have added a few more shadows with this white one here added more shadows um here behind the ears you got that behind the you know in under the fur tufts here um cast a, sh a small shadow underneath where the snout is same thing there um, with this black, I would add some other colors. What I personally like to do when it comes to blacks, I like to add blue to um, the white one wanted. Pure white, unshaded is the problem. Okay. Well, and that's fine. I mean, if that's what the customer wants, that's what the customer wants. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, you can you can only do so much. But I, but I think, like I said, you in the future... You know, that's what you could do. What are some things that you enjoy drawing, Zap? Um, protogens. Okay, so you do like drawing. So if you like drawing this type of stuff, I think that exercise that I just showed you will help you. Um, and I think you could, if you can learn how to take a 2D shape and draw it out of your brain to make it into a 3D shape could be of some use to you. So that then when you're drawing protogens later, um, they'll be a little bit more accurate. Okay? Break down your drawings whenever you see a drawing. When you see a drawing, break down their simple shapes. Okay? Super important. Um, so let's, let's, um, try something real quick. How you, how you on time, Brandon? You good? Or do you got to dip out? I have to break away, guys. You have to break away? Okay, man. I got well, you. Got you. Got you. Out, but well, bro, it's been a pleasure, bro. It's no, been a pleasure, bro. Pleasure, bro. Yeah, we are doing it again, sir. We will definitely do it again. Let us see that nice finished uh, prime when we're done. I hope this 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 helped you out though and get you get get the juices going again, my dude. Because this was this was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Yeah, it's not all the time I get to draw with somebody. You know what I'm saying? And and, and same here, bro. I mean, you know, usually we see all the finished stuff after on Instagram. Right, right. right. He's chilling. You know? Yeah, it's super chill. Uh, all right, my man. Well, you have a wonderful night. Give my love to the family. Yep. And, uh, and uh, I'll catch you next time, bro. Just let me know when you want to hop on again, and we'll make it happen. All right. All right, yeah. my man. Later. Have a good one. All right. So let us... Let me, I'm going to, I'm going to bring up a uh, image as, I'm going to save this to the desktop. All right.
what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this over here. All right. What is Aggie? I can demonstrate how I draw prototypes. That's fine. What, I, what I'm doing actually is I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and try. Uh, I just downloaded a, a, a picture of a protogen right now. Um, and I'm going to bring it in here, and I just want you to um, kind of see what I'm doing here. Like I said, um, furries are not really my thing, so this is my first time drawing this. So, it's going to be new. Okay. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and bring down the opacity. Okay. I will go ahead and bring this up here. We're going to do a new, a new layer on top of this. All right. And then I'm going to make this red in color. All right. So, again, one of the first things you want to do is identify your shapes, okay? So this will be your... So whenever you're doing this, identify your... That's your first shape here. Then you've got another kind of chopped cone shape here. Okay. Then your triangles there. Don't get detailed. Just identify the shape. Okay. So break down each of these shapes here. Then you've got Sometimes you can be like, this is another kind of triangle there. All right. Um, we've got a circle here. Okay. You got a cylinder here. Okay. And then you got a, like a cylinder type cone there. So whenever you have these have these types of things here, identify what you're identify what it is you're drawing. Okay. And you see where I was saying, so you see where I was saying where those shapes, those 3D shapes are gonna be important. Because once you pull out these shapes and you identify what they are, okay. You can make the forms you know whatever you want them to be okay and if you want to learn how to draw something this is how you could go about doing that too so what this is a big gigantic so, this is a curved cylinder here, right? This is a type of triangle. This is a, a box or a, I don't know what that is. And this one here is kind of giving you the 3D shape already itself, right? I'm just 
just going to say that's a, a square. Okay. So now what you do, you have these shapes left over, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and change the, the drawing here to a blue because now, now what we're going to do is identify the, um, identify the shape language here. So you've got your, the contours are going to be very important here. This is the head, the side of the head. So you got inside of there is a circle. So that's the sphere here. Okay. The eyes of that character land here. However you decide you want to do that here. For this one here and there. That goes straight down in here like so. And then the curve here. So now it's automatically become a 3D image there. You see that? You see how those how those how those things there do that? So with this shape here, though that was the ear, right? So pretty much the ear is gonna be a little different. You can make that 3D shape here. There's not much you could do there. Okay. But do you see what I'm doing? I'm at the right place. Right there in the middle. Here. Okay. So it's the contour. The contours of these shapes is super important. Okay, add in that three dimensionality, of course, here, here, you got your cone, we'll continue here, right, top of your circle here, okay, you're dumbing it down to simple shapes and then adding side, exactly, exactly. Because that's gonna that's gonna help you to just bring it all together cohesively at at, at the point. Okay. You got the biggest shape here, and it doesn't matter what direction the shape is, the cylinder is. Okay. So you see that in there? Wherever the front of this thing is. No, I see, I see what you're saying. I understand you, Zach. You're good, man. Don't worry about it. So that divider line, the center line, Is the front of whatever something is facing so no matter where you place this line if you place this line over here those it's gonna it's gonna depending on where you're rotating it it's gonna show it in the right way there okay so here the front of that foot is here right see front of the foot here front here right there you see what I'm doing this is more of the side so okay keep practicing these shapes here and now if you go back and we pull out And now I overlay that shape. You see that? 
you see how all the all that now laps over so that's going to be very important okay um i'm gonna bring this opacity down for this layer and then show you something else that's going to be very important as well okay This drawing has a type of um, gesture on it as well that you're going to want to be mindful of as well, okay? So every center dividing line in every drawing to show that bring life to the character is going to have a, a, a curve of or a line of action that shows that this is actually a good, um, a good drawing that's done, whoever did it. Okay, so that's the line of the direction of the drawing. Okay, so this is this is a pretty good um, um, drawing because that center, that gesture line in the middle, it's not up and down. Okay, it's not up and down; it's curved. Okay, another way that you'll see that it's it's good as well. Your whenever you have a drawing, if you have a straight. You want to have a curve next to it. It's more complimentary that way. It's more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Okay. So as there is a curve here in the position of that, you notice the line goes straight this way. You have, you have a curve here with the tail, right? But back here, it goes straight down that way. Okay. That's a that's a good again a good indicator flats flats amongst curves okay um whenever you have a curve on a drawing the back of that needs to be cur uh straight you have a curve here straight back here okay so this is pretty this is a pretty good portioned uh and aesthetically a very good drawing of this okay Oops. those are the two lines of the two directions that they are going whenever you're doing that you want to have the opposite them kind of going in the opposite directions okay so up down the angles of these need to be opposite if they're just straight and straight one they're not going to be in proportion it's going to look wonky okay so keep these tools in mind keep these things in mind when you're drawing your protogens from now on okay that exercise whenever you draw whenever you get a drawing or a picture again let me get rid of these uh let me get rid of this so that you can see See that line of action, how that's going through there? It's very well done. It's a good, it's a good drawing. Whoever did it, did a good job. Okay. So find your line of action. Find your middle. Find that gesture line here in the middle. Okay. In a drawing. Find the, find these lines here in that pose. Then that way, when you're drawing your own, whether freehand or whatever, you can you can do that and put it together. Okay. And you could actually draw those shapes in that direction as well. Okay. So, but yeah, um, you know, I think I think I think you did good. I think you did good. Like I said, don't um, stop, 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 stop um, charging ten dollars for your work, though. <laughs> we 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 can't do that no more. We cannot do that. No, no. Okay, I think you're making an amazing teacher. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> I hope to be doing some of this soon. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be doing. 
one-on-one art tutoring and stuff and hopefully with small classes um on my patreon so try to see what you know how that goes but i mean i enjoy doing this and it is a lot of fun teaching people teaching constructively i've got four times more from you than here with my art teacher <laughs> yeah RT, I'll say this about art teachers. Art teachers teach based on according to what they know and what their interests are. So in order to learn the most from, uh, in order to learn from them, my advice would be to try to find someone that is into what you're into also or something similar or close to it um, to start. Um, you know, if, if, you know, I'm not, I'm not in the, in the furry genre, but I identify with it because it is more cartoony and that is my style cartoons, comics. So I can teach that based on that because those principles are still there. Um, and they can be applied. So, you know, definitely, uh, you know, it's good for you to be able to, to, to find somebody that can be that for you. Okay. You're still in school, Zach. I, I, I take it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they're, that they're going to be teaching according to more of what they know. So, and don't take it personal. A lot of them don't understand or get certain genres of things as well. It's good not to take offense to it if they don't get it. Um, just keep doing what you're doing. Take whatever information that they have. Whenever you go into anything that you learn, if I can give anybody this one lesson, this one tip, and this applies even in life. A lot of times uh, we have a habit of if somebody doesn't have the experience that we have in doing something or doesn't even at times have the knowledge about certain things that we do. Uh, as human beings, we tend to just ignore them completely or just be like, I don't know what they're talking about. That's a mistake. Okay. If you can get one piece of information that you learn and can apply and that makes sense to you. Everything else can be garbage, what they say. Everything else can be whatever. If you can get one piece of something out of that, it's well worth it. Okay? It was good learning experience. It was worth learning. Okay? Do not dismiss that person. They're able to give you something. Now, you go into... Now, you go into something and somebody just says outright trash and none of it makes sense to you. Okay. <laughs> bad advice. Bad, bad, you know, bad, bad thing. You know, a person that is trash, then maybe that is someone you shouldn't listen to. But, you know, generally you can always learn something from somebody. Even if it's one little morsel of something that'll help you. So always look for that actively and be willing to be quiet and learn because that's the only time I'll assume we're going to learn. If we, the second we think we know more than people, bad things happen. <laughs> bad things happen. All right. So it is almost 10 o'clock. So I'm going to wrap it up for the night. But I want to what I want to do before I dip out is I want to go ahead and show you guys the Patreon page. I don't think I've I've done that. I'm just gonna be reworking the Patreon page as well. Um let me see here. Present. So here's the Patreon page. $3 a month, you get a digital mini print sent to you. OK. 
Okay. You've got then the five dollar a month. You get a mini art print PDF again sent to you as well with videos and artwork. And then for ten dollars a month, you get exclusively signed print of your work. And I'm actually adding stickers to that, so you'll be getting stickers. So it's going to be worth it. Joining my Patreon, okay. It'll be a five by seven print of my work. And then if you join the 25 a month, that's going to be the same thing, but you're going to get a bigger size print there. Okay. Um, if you can't do that, that's fine. Again, it's not mandatory. It's not, it's not, uh, uh, you know, the end of the world. If you can't do that and buy me a coffee. Send me a dollar, two dollars. You like what you see? Put your name with the message is whatever the case is, shoot it to a brother. I appreciate it. Okay. So whatever the case is, it's it's cool. It is cool. Okay. Um, and if not, you can't do that, that's fine too. That's fine too. Tell your friends about me. Tell other people about me. Get them to follow me. Get them to like, comment, subscribe to my stuff. I'm here on YouTube's. Um, I got my YouTube page up. You know, come and subscribe. Come and join. Join. Join it all. Okay. Um, I I try to do. Um, um, I try to do uh, things on here pretty often as well. So, you know, everywhere that people can 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 enjoy and and just whatever. I'm starting to ramble now, man. I just I just want everybody to enjoy, okay? Um, but any support I get, I really do appreciate it. And uh, there that is. So, you sign up for the sticker and art club on Patreon. Uh, you can sign up and follow me on Instagram at ID Walker Art. You can also follow me on Twitch. And YouTube and on Facebook, the Art of ND Walker, ID Walker Art. Um, and there that is. Okay. I'm going to start setting up some more regular days when I will be streaming. Most likely it'll be twice a week. Um, three, depending on special occasions. So uh, keep that in mind as well. So, anyways. With that being said, I'm going to take off for the night. I really, really, really appreciate you guys joining me tonight and i will catch you guys on the flip side you guys have a wonderful night take care goodbye Deuces.